Hey guys, it's Joel and welcome back to my 2005 Porsche Cayenne V6. Now, as you well know by now, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to my cars, save for the cosmetics. But when it comes to the mechanicals, I like them to be running and working perfectly. So today I'm teaming up with my good friends at eBay to discover more about how eBay Assured Fit works on their My Garage section of eBay. I have an issue with my car, which has become a classic KN conundrum as these cars have gotten older. This is of course failing boot struts. Now we're moving house in a couple of weeks and I want the KN to be useful for shuffling furniture and stuff around to the new house. With the struts in their current condition, the boot just won't stay open. And what's more is that you risk immediate decapitation if you try and use it. They were holding, but it's gotten worse. So today I'll get them sorted. I'm also going to tackle the rear window hatch struts as well. Despite them being okay on my car and holding fine, we're in that neck of the woods changing the tailgate struts anyway, so it makes sense to do them both at the same time. Okay, so to find the parts that I need then, I've come onto the My Garage section of eBay. And as you can see, I've been on here before. My Porsche KN is already there, but you can click add a vehicle, click car, and then just pop in your reg like this. And now it will only show me parts that fit my KN. So in here, I'm going to search for boot struts. And immediately we can see a bunch of options with these all important green ticks that say fit your vehicle. And the great thing is that if you order one of these parts and it doesn't fit your vehicle, it's a no questions asked money back guarantee for 30 days. These ones look great. They're only £33 for the pair and there's free three day postage. So I'm gonna go ahead and add them to my basket. Then I mentioned I'd like to do the rear glass struts while I'm at it. So I'm gonna put glass hatch struts yeah, and straight away it's coming up with exactly what I need. There's a few that are in Europe. I'm gonna try and find one that has quicker delivery. These ones look great. It's got the green tick for assured fit and the part number matches the OEM specification. And also these have a free three day postage as well. So I'm gonna get two of these so that we don't just end up with one and add them to my basket. Right, so I'm going to order these parts then and while I wait for them to arrive, I'm going to work out how on earth I'm going to change these struts because from what I've heard, it's a relatively complex job and one of the reasons why quite a few people and most KNs you'll see of my car's age haven't had this done. So yes, this is the issue that the boot will not hold by itself. You can see as soon as I let go of it, it slams right down. But also the other thing of note is that it's extremely heavy. I think it should essentially sort of fly up when I pull it like this, but I've actually got to use a lot of force to get that to go up. The glass hatch, on the other hand, is kind of fine. Again, it's still quite heavy to pull up, but once you do get it up, it seems to stay. I know I've said it before, but I absolutely love this feature on the E1 KN. So we'll replace this anyway, because if we go back in here, this is where the struts are in there actually changing them well it should be a fairly straightforward process in fact you don't really need that much you need a phillips screwdriver i think a t25 and just something to pry it with like a flathead screwdriver that's all we should need but we do need to take quite a lot of things out to get into here because we can't get in through the back we have to get in through the car and take some of the headliner down and a few components off and as if by magic, we have the new struts. Now they're quite easy to tell apart. These big chunky ones here are of course for the main tailgate and these smaller struts are for the window glass. Makes sense. It's quite a substantial piece of metal this. I can't quite believe how heavy these are. They probably weigh, I don't know, a good, maybe a kilogram or something. But yes, you can see when these slowly stop working, why it becomes so hard and heavy to open the boot and why it will just slam down. So fingers crossed getting these put in will make a big, big difference. 99% of the work we're going to be doing today will be from within the car. So I'm gonna pop the seats down just to make life a little bit more easy. In the KN actually, you can pull out the base of the seats and fold them upwards to create even more room, uh, but that shouldn't be necessary for today because all we need to do really is be able to access the inside of the boot like this. And we can start taking some things off. The first thing to do, of course, is getting out the old struts. And to get out the old struts, first one must gain access to where the struts are located, which is under quite a lot of the headliner. This first section is supposed to unclip quite easily, but obviously I'm going to fall down at the first hurdle and it was extremely, extremely difficult to remove. 
As I was already struggling with this first piece, I thought I'd remove these brackets that partially secure the side panels to the ceiling of the car. This is with a single T25 screw. Now I did also unscrew the smaller one with a Phillips head. However, this isn't actually necessary. That just secures the metal bracket to the actual panel. You don't need to really detach that. In all honesty, I probably could have done with having slightly better tools. I was just using some long nose flathead screwdrivers here. But even when levering as much as I possibly could trying to get to the clips, it just didn't seem to want to come away. But finally, after a long, long time and a little bit of brute force, I did manage to remove this first panel. The next thing to take off were these side panels, which I'm pleased to say were a lot easier. I think now I also understood a little bit more how the clips worked and so knew exactly the best place to stick my screwdriver to pull it down. Do take extra care when removing these side panels because they do have airbags behind them and also you'll find once you pull it away that there is a speaker connected which you'll need to unplug too. You'll then find this white plastic piece which needs to be removed by the way of three T25 screws and once you do this you'll then gain access to the final piece which is this very very sticky water sealing pad behind which are the struts. Well we're about two hours in and uh well, we've made a bit of a mess in the back. As you can see, we've got this side of the trim um, exposed. That's an uh, airbag there, so we've been very, very careful indeed. It took a while to get this up a bit off. It's essentially just a lot of clips. If you can see on here, there's a lot of points where it's secured and it's quite hard to access even with a long uh, flat head screwdriver. And now it's got even more complicated because basically our access to the struts are through this gap here. There's this really interesting sticky substance which obviously has to keep the water out. Um, so we've peeled that back and it reveals then these struts, which I apologize, it's quite hard to see um, as it's so dark. Here's the big one for the tailgate on the right and on the left, just out of shot, is the one for the glass. So the boot is managing to just about stay open at the moment while I do those bits and bobs. However, I'm gonna need to borrow someone or find something to prop the boot and glass hatch up properly um, because that's the only way really to be able to pop out the old struts is to have them in their fully fully extended position as you can see that's about there and when it does hold it yeah it holds about here which isn't quite high enough and then I quite like the jobs where there's two sides because I feel like we'll learned a lot from doing this first side and hopefully the next side should take half the time or even even less. One thing I wasn't quite prepared for is just how like how dirty it is up here. I mean, it's absolutely filthy. There's that sticky uh, part that sort of holds the water in. I've managed to slightly crack that in the middle, but it should, I presume it should be able to fit it back on. Don't have anything with me to replace it. But then look at the absolute state of it up there. So essentially, from what I understand, uh, what I've got to do here is first, well, so this is the glass on the left that you can see. We're going to pop that one out first, I think, because then it will make the bigger, heavier strut for the tailgate easier. Uh, we'll try and get in there and clean that out a little bit as well, because we don't want to be putting in new struts uh, to a dirty environment like that. Um, but as you can see, the access is quite limited because we've still got this part of the headliner on. And from looking under here, it looks quite complicated to remove it. And I think maybe it'll be easier if we just pull it down a little bit and try and do the best with what we've got. So um, yeah, I think we'll start with a small glass one and, and take it from there. So before attempting to remove the struts, I thought I'd give it a little bit of a clean up there because that certainly can't be helping with the condition of the struts. And I don't want to be putting new ones in to somewhere that is so, so filthy. I couldn't quite believe the amount of leaves and rubbish that came out of that small area. If anyone knows how all of that dirt and all of those leaves even get there, please comment below because it makes absolutely no sense to me at all. So as I mentioned, I was gonna go for the window gas strut first as this was the smaller of the two. And I thought I could probably do this one on my own. So with the window and the boot open, you use a flat head screwdriver to pry up the semicircle metal retainer clip, at which point you can pop off the strut. However, I would very quickly find out why you should probably have someone to help you with this. That was terrifying. <laughs> Yeah, so because I'm doing this on my own and there's nothing propping the boot up, obviously I've just pulled this glass strut out. The glass panel has slammed 
onto the boot and close the boot. That was a bit scary. <laughs> but I feel like I'm making progress. I've managed to get this one out. And so now with it closed, if I now pop out the other side, we should be able to take it all out completely. Let's see if this works. There it is. So there's one side of window strut out. And if we have a look at the part, it's uh, almost identical to our new one. Let's have a little look at our new one here. There we go. So if we look at the size of it, that's probably the, one of the most important things. Um, it is identical. So that's really good news. So yeah, so basically what I did there is removed or pulled up this metal clip. It sort of just pulls up sort of the securing fastener of it. And then once with this up, you can prop it off. And uh, then the other side just pops off as well. Happy days. So we're going to reverse the procedure to put this one back on, essentially. Uh, but first, I'd like to remove the tailgate strut. So I think what I'm going to need to do is probably ask my wife to come and hold the boot up so that that doesn't happen again. Uh, but yeah, so this is this is the one we've got to remove now. And I believe we need to do it from the other side first, like as we did with the uh, window glass strut. Actually, no, maybe not. Maybe we do do it from this side, which is easier. Right, so I have myself one wife. I should have mentioned at the start of this job that as well as a screwdriver and a T25, you needed a wife. Okay, so just like the window strut, I have popped it out over at this end and now, and so, so Katie has been kindly holding the boot. Now, if she closes it, I think you can probably go all the way and actually close it just slowly. There we go, so that's gonna bring this side closer to me that's it so you can just shut it now katie perfect and now i'm going to do the same thing here so you can see there's a little metal retainer and we're just going to pop that out if we can here might need to come from a different angle here we go i've just popped it out and now I should be able to somehow There we go. So that's one side removed and I'm pretty sure now to get the things replaced, uh, I just wanna give the little ball joints a clean so that they're free of grease. And we'll just do that in reverse. I think that's how we put them back on. So I think the boot needs to be um, probably closed to put this end of the new one on, the gas or the spring end. And then we'll open the boot, get Katie to open the boot all the way, clipping the other side, I think. Bob should be your uncle. So I've clipped in this side and now I just need to get the other side back in the hole. There we go. And now, can you open it any more than that? There we go. Yeah. Should have taken some of the pressure off Yay. now. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well done, sweet top. Oh, um, well done. The Hulk. You're clever. So that's the main strut in now for the tailgate. And as you can see, it is actually holding by itself, even after just doing one, which is nice. Do you know what? The trickiest bit so far has just been getting here, taking all of this stuff off. Once you're actually at the struts, prying the struts off and putting them back in place is pretty straightforward, providing that I've done it correctly that's actually quite easy. So now for the window strut, with the glass closed, I'm gonna pop this into place. There we go. And then I will need my lovely assistant once more to open the glass this time. And we just do the same thing where we pop this into place, but on the other side. Okay, you can see a new boot strut working now. And then Katie's gonna open up the glass hatch. That might be quite heavy. That's okay, it's not. There you go, and that's just moved this back now. So it should give me enough room to, should give me enough room now to pop this in here. A tiny bit more. That's it. Yes. Yay. Well done. Okay. Ah, yay. That is one side completed. So with the first side fully completed then, I was quite relieved because at certain points during this, I thought I wasn't going to be able to get it done. 
it's certainly something you need a helper with in this case i had katie which i'm very grateful for or at least a very very strong prop because you've got to push the boot and the window slightly beyond their normal positions to leave enough room for you to pop the struts in or out now it was just a case of replicating the entire procedure on the other side right so i have made a lot of mess in here but the good news is the struts are in on both sides and now as you can actually see the boot is quite hard to close because it has got so much spring watch this if you're not careful that'll take your nose off so that is problem solved working boot struts and again the glass is now much happier to fly up like that and nice and easy to close that one jobs are good in so all that was left to do now then is, well, put the car back together, which is probably one of the most daunting processes of any mechanical undertaking because you're acutely aware as you're taking things apart that you need to pay attention to where they go. In all fairness, the fact that I'm filming this for YouTube actually helps me because if I did forget anything, I'd be able to look back at the camera shots. Here are the old struts now out of the car and you can actually see that on the left-hand strut for the tailgate, the spring was actually cracked, completely snapped down the middle. Anyway, without too much fuss, certainly much less than taking it apart, I was able to put the car back together pretty well. So it's the day after I finished all of that pretty late last night. And finally, I can show off my fantastic new tailgate, which goes up extremely aggressively now. In fact, there's a new problem now in which it's really hard to pull it down but no this is much much better indeed the only problem is though in all of that craziness yesterday and spending about 10 hours in the end rolling around in the back of this KN, um, i've made an almighty mess in the back of here which i want to get sorted now the good news is ebay currently have a 30 percent offer until the 30th of june on their seasonal car care and cleaning page so i've gone ahead and found a selection of products including this hoover a detailing brush, which I'm extremely excited by, and various other car cleaning and odor accessories. So before I conclude this video, I'm gonna jump in the back of the KN once more, make sure it's back to how I found it before I started. We can put the seats back up and then get the car back into its normal use. Okay, so I'm finding this electronic detailing brush they're quite fun to use. It's basically just a massive uh, toothbrush, but it's quite good because you, you put it on and it just, all those tiny little bits of dirt that you know get stuck in between the nooks and crannies, this just flies them out and then you can pick them up really easily with the hoover. So it's, it's quite fun to use this. So with that all done then, I'm gonna thank you all so much for watching this video. Now I can sit in my boot without worrying about this slamming down on me like I had to at the start. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something as well with the struts. I was thinking maybe I can call myself an amateur now because before I was definitely a beginner when it came to sort of doing your own things on cars. I had no idea whatsoever, but I feel like I'm learning very slowly and that is actually quite a difficult job. I think it's definitely, if you've got a K and something you can try, just you need to be patient and probably do everything a little bit slower than I attempted to at first. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one very, very soon. And remember with eBay Assured Fit, you can enter your reg to find the right part at the right price. And if it doesn't fit, return it for free within 30 days. Can you let me out?